Hello everyone, my name is Devon from Discovery UMES. Today we're at the UMES Mosley Gallery interviewing Mr. James O'Barr, the creator of The Crow. Stay tuned. I'm James O'Barr, artist, writer of The Crow. I had some personal issues I needed to work out and uh, thought art as therapy would be the best way to get, uh, to get all those negative emotions out onto paper. I just sat down and, and thought to myself, I'm going to draw something that looks exactly the way I feel right now. Um, and that was, was pretty much how I started. Crows are carrion birds that feed off dead things. And uh, so it was kind of a visual metaphor for Eric, for the lead character, who's um, only there um, to bring forth death. Actually, I sold my first story when I was 16 to heavy metal. I only started doing it professionally about 20 years ago. When I started making more doing comics than I did with my day job, I worked on cars during the day, and then I would draw all night. And when I started making more with the comics than I was um, rebuilding engines, it was time to quit. <laughs> I said, who wants to buy some tools? <laughs> I, I was involved with uh, the first film from beginning to end. Um, the director and uh, Brandon, we were kind of a team. Um, and, you know, we talked about everything from the casting to the music. Um, and, you know, I was kind of on set to uh, rewrite, the, rewrite the screenplay and dialogue as needed. The only difficulties were, were um, budgetary you know they they didn't it, you know they didn't have a lot of money um to do to do a direct adaption of the book because there's a lot of visual things in there that would have been too expensive trains and horses and, you know and a talking bird they just they, you know um so there were you know there were a lot of concessions that had to be made just because there wasn't enough money Um, we're, we're working on a new film right now, it's in pre-production, um, that will, it's not a remake of the Brandon Lee film, but um, it's going right back to the source material, so it'll, it will be exactly like the book this time. Yeah. yeah, I grew up in Detroit, I spent 35 years there, um, and you know, I, I know the city, you know, it, it, it has a very specific feel to it. Um, you know, it's not like New York or Chicago or Cleveland, it, it, you know, it, ha it has a very specific identity and, uh, um, and I, ju I, I know it intimately, so I, you know, I tend to revert back to that, um, you know, to, to my time in Detroit, even though I don't live there anymore. Devil's Night is a real thing in Detroit. Um, where the night before Halloween, um, all the abandoned houses are set on fire, are burned down. And initially it started out um, with good intentions. Um, a neighborhood didn't want an abandoned house to become a, you know, a drug house or a house you know, where a little girl walking to school could be kidnapped into. And, so, and the city had no money to tear these houses down. so. The neighborhood would get together and just burn them down. I don't know specifically why the night before Halloween, um, but but um, it just continued. It still continues to this day, but it just kind of escalated to where it become it became like a, an event every year, you know, where there were just thousands of fires. Um, you know, not not nearly so much anymore, but it still does go on. 
Um, I, well, I, when I was picking out the pieces, I wanted to send a wide variety of things. So there's everything from ink studies to, um, to, to obviously comic book pages, um, book covers. Um, a, a lot of them were um, commissions for book covers or record albums. Um, but I just, you know, most people are, are only familiar with my uh, um, comics work, so I wanted to show that, you know, I, I also do, you know, full painting, full painted covers for books and things like that. So, you know, I tried to, tried to cover the whole span of, of what I do. Well, there you have everyone. Mr. Obar was kind enough to answer our questions and to share his wonderful works of art with us here at the UMES Mosda Gallery. The gallery will be here until October 30th, 2014, with the closing reception being a Halloween party. So if you're close by, check us out. For more episodes, check us out at www.youtube.com backslash discoveryourmask. We'll see you next time.